Hello there fellow summoners, Mad Dog HT here, and we're going into uh, the last war, war number three of week one of season 32. Unstoppable armor is in play, and here's a quick preview of what, what we're going to see in this video. I got five fights of my own, plus we're going to showcase our boss takedown. We are up against 1NG, um, Kote Hoki, and I looked that up, and it looks like it's uh, like a fictional name for a Czech Republic uh, village. Kind of interesting. Um, here's the map um, that we're going up against. And yeah, we we had a solid plan for this war and we executed very well um, for the BG that I'm in, BG2. And first up, um, oh, as far as the bands, we had uh, Quake, Her Hercules, and Ghost Band. So I'm going up path two. And I'm gonna be able to get all, all my fights in one shot. I only have five fights this war, nothing on the mini island except helping with some pre-fights. And um, we're going up path two, node five, strike counter fury, power struggle. And this um, Immortal Hulk, you know, I, I considered using Warlock, but I did not want to get to a point where the uh, power drains from like willpower healing and him Warlock reversing the the power and blocking the heal that it would mess up the strike counter because I didn't want to get that out of control so we're just going in with She-Hulk and we're just gonna play according to the node um, mix our combos get in a heavy get in our mediums and our light attacks and then just keep smashing away um, we are gonna be able to get um, the furies built up pretty well on this fight for She-Hulk and um, we do give uh, Immortal Hulk a few um, passive furies, just you know, because we're trying to we're trying to be aggressive, and you know, sometimes you lose track of which uh, which hits you've done mid fight. Um, but it's going well. We're gonna lose fairly minimal health. She Hulk is a really really solid champ. Um, she's got a lot of utility, and as long as you can get those guys to be throwing those specials. Um, she can just ramp up damage pretty pretty well pretty easily and you can see um, also the the furies that she hulk gets they um, have a longer duration because um, when she fights a large or an xl champion they you have a longer uh, time to basically get those reset and those refresh when the defender throws a special uh, so he's got five he's got five um, passive furies from the strike counter and we kill him off <clears throat> um, when his immortality um, kicks in. Not a big deal. You get a, you get a hit in, back off, because you can't hit him while he's regening. Otherwise, he'll just get smacked in the face and retaliated. And we take him out fairly cleanly with She-Hulk. Uh, not the fastest by any means, but this just fit for the path that I was doing. Um, next up, we're going up against this Jabari Panther on Node 14. It's also Strike Counter Fury, Brute Force, Power Focus 1. Um, I have White Magneto, uh, Magneto House of X on my team. We're going to apply that to get the um, uh, passive stuns, so we can get guaranteed stuns. We're going to put on an advanced power boost, we're going to put on tech boost, and we're going to get to a special 2 and wreck this Jabari. Now, the interesting thing is... You can see this is not the off season. This is season. This is Masters War, um, and it looks like um, this guy Rom Rom Romario Terror. He probably just messed up and placed with suicide. So he's got the the bleed and the poison on, which is great for me. Helps to keep um, in check that um, that power from the power focus one. And we just get back to, we, we don't even get back to um, a special two, and Jabari goes down really, really easily with my Warlock. Um, usually I have Warlock in AQ, um, but, you know, Duty Calls brought him in, and I swapped him out with Ebony Maw for my AQ path on map 8, which was actually kind of fun, and I'm actually going to be using Ebony Maw quite a bit more for that path instead of Warlock. So next up... We have uh, Node 25 going up the middle of this shared fight. Um, it's Footloose, Force of Will, Crumbling Armor, Kinetic Transference. Um, 
Sasquatch is unawakened, so we don't really have to worry about his regen at the end. Wouldn't have been a big deal anyways. Um, he is an unstoppable armor champ, so we do have to um, keep in mind that he can go stun immune if that armor, uh, not the armor, if the unstoppable triggers. So like right now he's stun immune, that's all right. We're gonna bait this out. And the other thing, we did a power start one boost. We got the heavy, we got a heavy counter there. And I think coming up here, I'm gonna try to do a parry hit into a heavy, um, which it's not gonna work because of limber and I just, just being used to doing a lot of uh, She-Hulk stuff. And I'm just, also I'm mix mastering, not mix mastering, but I'm alternating my combos um, full combos ending in light, full combo ending in medium to get those withers, and that's going to help with the power control um, significantly. We get off a special two. Um, we counter his special to take off the unstoppable. His uh, Wrath of Tanarak is already gone. Getting those withers up, and I think it's... I think I... Well, at least I thought I remember trying to do one hit and then into a heavy. But as long as we keep those slows up, can't get the unstoppable, can't, um, can't evade, and She-Hulk just does her business. Um, we did take a, a combo to the face, but no big deal. We are boosted. It's just going to cost a couple of health pots. Um, we're going up the middle, path 5 in section 2. This is node 29, Ebb and Flow Intercept, and Sadus. Now I'm going to throw on a regen boost, going to throw on a couple health pots, and the only thing that I'm not going to do is I'm not going to alternate my combos. I don't want withers to build up too much. Um, I mean, I don't think it would be that big of a deal, um, but the Sadus is going to give uh, Doctor Strange extra attack if I do get way too many built up, which, I mean, I'd probably get you know, up to maybe five, six, and it would help to control his power gains. Um, but I'm just not gonna let it get too crazy. You can see that right there, that, that's when that's when I tried to do a medium into a heavy, and obviously there's not enough time to do that. Um, and when Evan Flow Intercept falls off, all of those debuffs will, will fall off. I throw a special two to get that Petrify, really just locks him down. I could be just heavy spamming in the corner, um, but I did want to get that Ebb and Flow Intercept protection knocked off again. Um, I think it's going to come back one more time. Um, but She-Hulk just, yeah, right there. And I, I wasn't ready for the protection to get rid of that stun debuff. Um, luckily, I didn't get, didn't get smacked. Um, but yeah, She-Hulk does her business. Um, she pretty much owns a lot of Mystics. And she's a lot of fun, especially when there's power, power gain or unstoppable. And then last up for my assignments for this war, we're going up against this APOC. Again, this is the guy that was running suicides with that Jabari Panther. This does have mighty charge, so the um, bleed and poison will get shrugged off. But every time he throws a special, he's going to be um, losing 5%. And I was going to put on a uh, white magneto guidance pre-fight, but because of the suicides, I just felt pretty confident that um, this this was just going to go well. And I just got to get off my reparries. Um, if he's dashing at me, if I'm stay up nice and close and tight, you can just get the parries off because the mighty charge isn't going to um, come into play. And we're just going to get up to a special um, 2. And we're going to do a dash back. Intercept into the special two, lots of damage. He shrugs off those armor breaks, but that's okay. Um, we get to another special two. Ebb and Flow Fury is still up for most of it right at the end. It, it, that last hit, um, the protection came back up. And then we're just over in the corner, we get another intercept off. That was, seemed a little bit late, but uh, it worked. And we get off another special two. Those tech power boosts are putting in some work. And one more combo, and APOC goes down. Um, so I don't know, did he even throw but one special? Hmm. Well, it didn't really matter that he had suicides on, but pretty simple fight. And then last up for my assignments, um, I'm coming up this left side just to put a white mags on 
um, this long shot that's the conflictor we ended up having a human torch do that fight and I think it was PT did a great job to do that and I just double checking to see that it sticks because man sometimes those pre fights they just don't stick um, and then I also put a pre fight I believe on this uh, on this Black Panther Civil War boss uh, but Alan Tress um, in my battle group, he's going to take this on with his Sorcerer Supreme. Um, he's going to put on an Advanced Power Star boost. He's got Mystic boosts on. We have a Suppression and Debuff Siphon. Um, suppression just to not let him gain as much power. And the Debuff Siphon, siphon if he happened to get stuck with the bleed, hopefully it wouldn't, you know, it help mitigate that damage and it wouldn't kill him. Um, but the whole game plan here is to um, have that icon's ingenuity. It's the purple power gain icon um, phase. Throw a special to get that uh, slow up because Black Panther is a unstoppable armor champ. So you've got to be really careful with his armor ups and they're kind of unpredict in unpredictable as to when he will get them. It's kind of RNG based. And you just don't want to be like mid combo throwing a hit and then getting retaliated because um, he goes unstoppable and you know if he reflects a whole bunch of damage that could be bad news um, plus a bleed sticking would also be bad news um, and Alan also he runs resonate so you can see the the debuffs from the Mr. Fantastic they already fell off they were just there to kind of help get going not a big deal he does also run max mystic dispersion and um, yeah, so along with the Resonate, you know, if he does get tagged, which he actually will in this fight, it's going to make it so that um, he doesn't take as much damage. And Mystic Dispersion, just letting him throw a lot of specials um, along with that Mystic Power Back boost. And, you know, if he's got the Aura up, he's nullifying all of the adaptive uh, physical and energy resistant buffs that he gets throughout the fight, um, nullifying those armor ups. He's got that regen on block. He can just block those hits and, you know, basically take no damage. And he's going to keep cycling a lot of special threes. It's not it's not the quickest fight, but, you know, Black Panther Civil War, he's not um, that difficult of a defender. And personally, I feel like um, being on the boss node with the stun immunity kind of does him a disservice because you can parry. And you don't ever have to worry about him having armor ups and basically getting the stun reflected. So, to me, I think he would be better put on a node where you can actually stun him. Because if you just make a mistake and actually parry him, or you're you know you're doing a dash back and it's late and it parries him, you could really get wrecked um, by Black Panther Civil War, especially if he's built up a lot of the the reflective uh, charges that he's got the little orange fist icon right now so he's got 6 10 17 21 so if he got hit right now it'd be pretty brutal um, and he does get hit pretty soon but all of that stuff is gone I think it's right here it gets hit with the heavy and then I think he gets hit again um, yeah right there and luckily he has only a three hit combo he hangs in there and throw off another special three and just kind of get back in the game. Um, a lot of specials, a lot of specials. Sorcerer Supreme for this tactic is extremely useful. Um, she takes a lot of the RNG out of the unstoppable part. You know, you can you can do some of these fights with champs that don't have slow. Um, you know, like a Black Widow Clairvoyant. I just feel like you're just risking um, the unstoppable, and it just you know better to have the slow up um, I mean even yeah even something like Medusa with armor shatter would probably be a better option in my mind just because I, I just don't like to, to deal with that unstoppable armor but great job Alan he gets the solo our battle group did great we got the big donut and we got six deaths on our defense which was awesome and overall, we did really solid as Alliance. Five deaths overall, which is which is pretty good. Um, could it be better? It could. Um, but they ended up dying 20 times. We get the victory. And uh, good job to 1NG 
Um, but yeah, we came out victors in this one. We're going up to two and one on our record for the season, which is pretty solid for week one. Um, as far as my war stats, I have five fights, five kills, no deaths, 17 fights on the season, 17 kills, no deaths. We are, we have landed in Masters um, number 12 overall. So we're pretty happy with that. Um, pretty solid start. Could it be better? Sure, it'd be 3-0, but you know, we're gonna lose some wars. I'm not, I don't think that we're gonna win every war. I think that we're capable of it, but you know, people make mistakes. And then here's just a quick uh, look at the items that I used um, for this war. Not a ton, and probably a lot of them, <clears throat> especially like the regen one was kind of just throwing it in there because I have them. Um, the items probably could have, or the health pods could have been less, but overall, not too bad. So we added three fights to, with She-Hulk, two with Warlock, and here's just my little collage of all the champs that I've defeated this season. War's going pretty well. Uh, I'm pretty excited about this season. I, 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 I like the tactic. It makes us um, come up with a pretty unique plan for every war. Um, the bands have been um, very diverse, and it's been going well. So hopefully war season is going well for you. And uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope some of these fights give you uh, some help um, if you happen to see a uh, similar matchup. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.